Wait. Get it? Good morning. I just want to feel good today. I got back from a trip. My birthday's coming up and I just... I'm a little all over the place. I need to get my confidence back. When I'm really needing help, this... This is the drink. You know I always start the morning with a greens powder and I do love to try all different kinds, but when I break out the combination of the first form greens and reds, I'm serious. <laughs> the greens are so good for your immune system, your gut health. There's probiotics, there's digestive enzymes, veggies and superfoods. Helps with bloating, of course, even <laughs> helps balance your glycemic response to food, which basically has to do with like energy levels. I know that's like, we're getting complex here. <laughs> and then the reds, they're so good for your metabolism and they're such a good variety of fruits in the reds powder which gives you a lot of different things antioxidants like just she's legit <laughs> And now for my favorite part of the morning and honestly probably the entire day i heated up some homemade oat milk <laughs> literally just makes me so happy and we are adding our protein i'm literally someone who like the minute my i was gonna say alarm goes off but i don't use an alarm clock because my dog wakes me up every morning how did i get here like <laughs> That is my favorite thing in the whole world. He will wake me up anywhere between six and seven and that's when I like to get up. So like, he's just my alarm clock. Like I just, anyways, <laughs> my eyes open and I'm like coffee. But then it was like, Morgan, we're not trying to ruin your stomach lining, you know? So that's why I'm so big on protein coffee. Okay, not only do I have a caramel latte flavor, so it's like, okay. Like that just makes too much sense. But since I really just, don't want to make breakfast first thing when I wake up, but I really want the coffee. This is great because I'm getting some substance in my body, some protein. I always start with a greens powder, even though I'm not committing to full breakfast. You know, I'm doing something. I'm doing something. And by starting with this, I'm already ahead for my protein goal for the day, and it's so hard to meet. <laughs> I'm honestly just so happy I added this into my daily routine. I think it had to be like around the new year maybe, but like this is by far like one of my most favorite habits that I do. Hi. <laughs> Okay, before we take Duncan on a walk and make a nice, yummy, healthy breakfast, I got some packages yesterday, and we are gonna do a Timu haul. I feel like Timu has been all over the internet lately. Timu sells so many different products at very affordable prices throughout so many different categories as well. You can find just about anything on Timu. You can find savings up to 90% off, you get free shipping, and free returns up to 90 days. And if you download their app, you get $100 in coupons. This is really great for people on a budget, I got a bunch of kitchen stuff. Everything will be linked, of course. First up, I got this silicone little like muffin tin thing because I think this would be super good to make egg bites in. And then I also got this. I think this is technically for donuts, but I want to use it for those like two ingredient bagels I've made before. I got a bunch of kitchen storage containers. I love to organize things in the kitchen, so these are super good for things like noodles, rice, even cereal. A little half avocado container. <laughs> these little rubber things are super cool. You put them on your stove, you crack the egg, and it just keeps it in this little circle, and it's super great for making breakfast sandwiches. A couple of little thin, small, easy cutting boards. These kitchen towels are really good material for like drying dishes, like microfiber style. Finally got a meat thermometer. Super nice quality new little measuring cup and tablespoon teaspoon set for more context I'm also gonna be moving in the next few months and a lot of stuff in the house that I'm currently living in is not necessarily mine so it is really awesome to kind of you know have a lot of things at a very affordable price to start furnishing my apartment essentially the container for your herbs it's supposed to keep them better for longer a hand mixer i don't have one of these next up we have some kitchen utensils both a metal whisk and a rubber i also really needed one of these brushes this okay i have wanted one of these if you haven't seen it before basically i'm gonna put it on my desk you plug it in and you put your mug here and you turn it on and it stays hot so that your mug of coffee stays hot i got this cute little coffee cup 
up. It has a handle and like a bamboo style lid. It's glass and it comes with a glass straw. This is gonna be adorable for little iced coffees. I got a couple things to hopefully kind of clean up the kitchen sink area. So this is like one storage option to put like soap, sponges, things like that in here. Or there's this. This little hole in the middle is for like your sink faucet thing to go out and then it's just like a grippy, you can throw a sponge on there. And then I think this is like a scrubby thing for washing things, but I actually think I'm gonna use it for my makeup brushes. Some different size dishwashing utensils. This is also a little tool to organize the kitchen sink area. I'm gonna kind of like play around with it and figure out how I wanna style it. This is to put spoons and different things when you're cooking. You know, it's dirty. You don't want to set it right on the counter. Okay, these are super cool. These are different sizes, but they are kind of adjustable and they're basically like little silicone e style lids that you just stretch and put over bowls. They're reusable. They're so much better than using like tin foil. I just love this idea. I also got a really cool lighter. Have you seen these like newer high tech ones? I've always wanted to try one. It literally is like rechargeable. I'm just super excited to use so many of these things. Like I said, I will be moving. So this will be really nice to take with me and I will have to make those egg bites and those bagels on camera at some point pretty soon. I'm very excited about that. So you can download the free Timo app for $100 coupons and all of you can use my code, which is pick 6956 for an extra 30% off for all new users. You can save big this summer with up to 90% off and free shipping. And a big thank you to Timu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Bring here. Drop it. Good boy. Good boy. Bring here. Drop it. Good boy. <gasps> You're so cute. Good boy. It's honestly just so good to get outside in the morning even if it's literally playing fetch for 10 minutes. Don't think about responsibilities yet. Just enjoy the fresh air. Try to clear your head. Try to not stress about the upcoming things of the day. I love coming out here to play fetch in the morning. It makes you happy, so it makes me happy. I just feel like this week I've been so spacey. Like I feel like I have so much to do and then during the day I just like, I don't know. I like, I like have not been productive and I've just been like in a very weird headspace. So I'm trying to just like be intentional and just like set myself up for success type of a thing. 11 grams of protein, yogurt is always a win. All right, let's get dressed and let's go outside. Let's go for a walk. Leggings, sports bra. I am honestly so excited to go on a walk with my dog and just be one with my thoughts. I don't know, like I said, I've just been feeling kind of off, like spacey, like every morning at night, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, let me turn you so that you don't see my butt in that mirror. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Like I just, I like overwhelm myself. And then during the day, for some reason, I just, I just like am not getting it done. And like the things that I should be getting done, I'm just not getting done. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I have like really awesome weeks and then sometimes I just, I don't know what's wrong. Like, I don't know what's going on. And like, these tasks aren't tasks that are beyond me. They're very much doable, but sometimes I just get into a funk and maybe it's because I was just away for a few days, so I feel overwhelmed, like coming back to a lot of responsibilities. And like I said, my birthday's coming up, so like, obviously I want to get ahead so I can have a lot of fun and just not worry about things. So, you know, just regular life stressors. Sometimes they get the best of you, but today we're trying to let them not get the best of me. I actually think, I think today I want to try to do a morning workout. I mean, it's already like 10 o'clock. Okay, maybe like lunchtime, maybe like early afternoon workout instead of like a nighttime workout because every time I work out, my mind feels so clear and I feel like I just need that going into the day. So maybe this is time for me to convert. I feel like I see this all the time. I'm like, okay, should I, should I become a morning workout girly? I see it all the time and I never do it, but I don't know. I don't know. Also, I am in love with these leggings. Holy crap. They're from First Form. They feel literally so good. I feel snatched. You know the drill. You know the drill. We haven't even left and I'm already just feeling so much better. It's not a bad thing. Don't look so sad. It's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Actually, pretty easy. Let's do it. 
This is all I use for it. It's actually so simple. Literally oats, maple syrup, or you can use honey if you rather do that. Vanilla, and I don't even have the real kind, like literally imitation vanilla, cinnamon, and coconut oil. Super clean, super healthy, super good for you. I don't have any add-ins like nuts or dried fruit, but that is so good to put in here. I'm also using some new Timu measuring cups, because why not? got some work done. I'm starving now so we're gonna make some lunch. I feel like today is one of those days where the day is literally just getting away from me. Like it's already 1245 and I feel like it should be 11 a.m. but it's not. On the menu we're gonna do a little quinoa bowl. I made this up believe it or not. And we're gonna cook up some kale. I actually really like Cooked kale. Quinoa is done. I'm gonna add some butter just for flavor. I said I made this up, but I didn't say it was like revolutionary, so don't get your hopes way too high. As well as a little garlic salt, kale. And then add a protein. I literally had this bag of shrimp from the grocery store that was already cooked. I just pulled the tails off and I'm just gonna throw it in there. And then hopefully everything kind of gets that butter garlicky flavor. Not bad though, hey, it was easy. We got quinoa, kale, shrimp, nutritious. Great lunch. I randomly put this together once earlier this week and it turned out really good, so I wanted to show you and I'm excited. And I do really like shrimp, so it's a great lunch. You could obviously add just like a different protein as well, like chicken or whatever you feel like. Okay, it is like two o'clock and it's time to work out. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I'm feeling a bit, I don't know, just kind of like stressed and overwhelmed. And for what reason? For what reason? You know, like I just feel like the day is going by way too fast. My brain is in 300 places right now. And today's supposed to be about feeling good and and, you know, being confident, getting my confidence back from having an off week. So I need to like switch gears, but sometimes it's just not that easy. Sometimes you try, sometimes you fail, sometimes it takes longer than expected. It's okay. You just gotta be patient with yourselves. I'm telling this to you, but I'm also telling this to me, okay? And although I'm clearly not working on it at noon, like earlier I thought I said I would, two o'clock isn't bad, okay? Two o'clock is not late. Lately, this week I've literally been working at like 9 p.m. So a win is a win. A win is a win. Today is a pre-workout day. I love the 12 to 30 and incline walking. I just feel so good. And I'm gonna go do a little bit of like weights and resistance. I feel like I was so overwhelmed earlier for potentially no reason. My days turned around, I don't know. I mean, it was just great. I was never in a bad mood. I was just so like, you know, and I'm like a lot, let's be real, it's part of my personality, but like, I'm just happy. I like using the immune boost packets because they have extra vitamin C and like that's always a good thing. I used my purple shampoo so my hair is extra shiny for my birthday. It makes me feel more confident when my hair is like shiny and I have a bit of a tan. I'm also getting so hungry. I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store in a second. I'm making like a super, super easy, one of my favorite basic butter garlicky, which apparently is the theme today, pastas. And we already have chicken cooked. And I just burned a bunch of calories so I could probably use some carbs. Again, not that your body's an equation. No, 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 I'm not saying like, oh, I worked out a ton, so now I can eat. But I'm saying I need to replenish. Like, I need food. Like, I need energy for the rest of the day. It's like 4 o'clock, so. Kinda cool, now I don't know what to do when you with the other guys. Ooh, it's only a matter of time. Super fast.
fast grocery run. I just got two little snacks because we're having friends up this weekend for my birthday. So I figured I should have at least like some random snacky thing in the house. And then they did not like acai packs, but they have these dragon fruit smoothie packs. So it's like the same thing. Cinnamon churro creamer. Doesn't that sound amazing? Garlic, which I'm gonna use with my dinner in a hot second. And then, have you seen on TikTok, the cottage cheese ice cream. I've tried so many different protein ice creams, they've just never worked. So we're giving this a go. Tonight, we're gonna try this tonight, together. Literally the simplest meal, but it's so good every time. You just can't go wrong with a pasta dinner. My hair is looking good. I'm really happy I used my purple shampoo. I am so tired though. I honestly feel like I've been on my feet all day. However, I really want to try the whole TikTok cottage cheese ice cream thing. And if I don't do it now, it's not going to like freeze and stuff. Because I want to try it tonight. So we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. This recipe, I know a lot of people just did cottage cheese, a sweetener, and like fruit, but I didn't want a fruit flavor. So I found this recipe, I'm gonna use a Jello packet. I didn't really feel like vanilla. I was really in the mood for like a birthday cake, but they, I don't think have that or make that. So I got this butterscotch. I normally like butterscotch, but I'm a little nervous. I think part of the main, you know, key for it to be creamy and not icy is that you do have to have fat. So don't buy like the fat-free cottage cheese. He used a whole milk one, but I don't think I saw that at my grocery store. So this is 4% milk fat. I do like cottage cheese in general though, so I don't think I'll hate this. It's just a matter of if I can get the consistency right. Apparently half of this packet, I'm actually gonna measure it out so I get half exactly. I just don't have high hopes though because these have never worked out for me. So I hope I am shocked and pleasantly surprised. The texture looks so creamy, like the consistency looks perfect. I think the other kind of key to this though, is I'm gonna put it in the freezer, but I don't think you can freeze it too long or it's not necessarily like soft serve. And I think this is supposed to be kind of more like soft serve ice cream. Pretty good, I would say. I don't really like to freeze the lids that go on here, so I'm gonna use one of my new little stretchy ones and pop this in the freezer. It's about seven o'clock. I think I'll check on it at like nine. I've been checking on the ice cream, it's about 9.45, and I am just gonna go for it because I don't wanna wait any longer to eat it. I feel like the more I let it get frozen, the more icy it gets, which is not good. However, the consistency is like, not bad. Like, it looks pretty nice. Honestly, I do think I wish I went with a, you know, vanilla or more basic flavor than butterscotch. I think I thought I liked butterscotch more than I do, but I mean, it is still good. But I do feel like the consistency is great and it honestly doesn't taste anything like cottage cheese. Would do this again. This will help me reach my protein numbers for the day, so. Birthday festivities will be starting soon. I obviously want a good glow. I want to get into drops. I want to see if I like them better than mousse. Last time I self-tanned, I finished up my mousse, so I picked up these drops. I have yet to use them. I'm a little nervous. Like, I know the more drops you do, the tanner you'll be, but like, I don't know how much to do at a time, you know? This is definitely gonna be like a trial and error thing. Like, the more you do it, you'll like figure out what you like. Okay, I just did not count at all. That's not good. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how that went. I'm washing my hands so that they don't get like super stained because obviously I just use my hands to apply tanner to my whole body. I do like the idea that you're moisturizing while applying self tanner though because I feel like some self tanners can dry you out. I just feel like it was difficult and with the mousse, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to get your back because I use a special tool. It's this thing, you just like put the mousse right on and you go like this and get your back but I feel like it wouldn't work the same way 
for lotion, you know? So I feel like you would need to call a friend for help with your back. You know, like that upper, like, little square you can never get? So I have no idea how that went, but honestly, the only way to tell is um, in the morning. Watch my birthday vlog to see how it turned out, I guess. But that is all for today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling refreshed. Honestly, not gonna lie to you, sometimes when I film, it makes me do more. You know, because it's like, you are holding me accountable. And like, I do this stuff day to day, but like, I've just had an off week. So it's like, filming is like that extra little push that I need. Obviously, I don't only do this stuff when I do film. That would be terrible. Very hypocritical. And you'd be able to tell because it would just be so fake. And I don't think it comes across as fake. At least I hope not. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Look out for the birthday vlog. It actually might already be posted. I have no idea. My brain everywhere, which is fine. I'm gonna have a fun weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.